just trying to score a point in the end zone Right there in the with a Rolex, that's two tone We love you, bud all right guys welcome back i'm gonna be teaching you how to do this like really cool kind of like pixel wave effect as you saw in the intro i think it looks really cool and yeah let's get into it i'm using my clip and i'm using 637 godwin no clue really good song first thing you want to find the point in the song where you want to sing all right so as you can see i chose about this part to sync it to Pretty good part, just choose a good beat drop or 808. Okay, now you need to sync your clip to the song, so that's pretty easy. Find the part where you get the kill. For me, it's right here. And about right when you see like the bullet blast go off, that's when you, you want to put your marker. So for me, it's right here, you see that red flash, and now we just sync those up like that by lining them up, and it should be synced. Now for the actual effect. So it slows down right before the kill and speeds up. And I've already done a tutorial on this in my other video. I'm just gonna do like a brief rundown of it. So you wanna go right click on your clip, go to time, enable time remapping, and you wanna add markers for the part you want it to slow down. About right there, add one one right where the bullet goes off. Once you have your two markers, you want to split it right where you put your first keyframe. So you're going to have this clip on the top right here and you want to stretch this out a bit and then move your clip along with it. And you'll see you're creating that slowdown. And you could just put the slowdown to your liking. All right, now once you have your slow-mo to your liking, so I slowed it down just like this. See it's still synced and you just have that slow down part now. Um to create the speed up it's actually super easy. Just wanna go to the point where you want. So like about right here. That's where I want the slow down to start. You just wanna move this keyframe. Make another keyframe about here I'd say. And then you wanna spread that one out. I know once you have your slow-mo speed up to slow-mo, you can just turn off frame blending by double click this double square icon right here and it'll look a lot smoother just like that now that you got the whole speed situation sorted out you can move on to the actual effect now okay first thing you want to do is make sure you split the clip right where your speed up starts so that's right here for me and now you have these like, three segmented clip you want to duplicate the middle one which is your slowdown and you want to Get the pencil right here and just make a pretty rough mask around your character. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just make a rough mask around your character. Alright, now once you've finished your mask around your character just like this, you see it doesn't look the best. But it'll it'll work. And you'll see that if I hide this layer, you'll just have your character there. And to kind of fix up some of those rough spots, you can open this tab right here. Turn up the feather a bit and mess with the mask expansion like that. And that looks pretty good. You'll see your clip, you'll have your character cut out there. Alright, now once you have your character masked out, you can add my pixel wiggle. Alright, now once you added my preset on there, you need to go ahead right here to the gradient layer 1 and put that to your clip. To this layer right here. So you might want to rename it to anything i just named it mask and you want to put that to mask so now you'll see that your character does that little pixel effect now once you put the first preset on here everything will pretty much be done for you the whole effect um but to make it stand out more you can add my other preset to the bottom clip which is your original clip and it's just a little build up and it makes it stand out more just like that makes a screen flicker with the rainbow and it decolors everything to make it pop more now the last thing I had was this little overlay which is just like kind of like leaves flying through the screen and I also provide that now once you got your overlay in there you want to put it in between these two clips right here find the part where the overlay actually starts so for me it's like right here split it cut out the parts that don't matter 
I know once you have it here, you want to go to time, time stretch. And I'd say put it to about five, because it's a very slow overlay. So you just want it to come in, do that thing. But you'll see that it makes everything black. So you want to go here, toggle switches modes, right here. It's a screen. You'll see that it makes it transparent, so it could come in just like that. Just split it where the effect stops. And then after that, you just want to add your impact and then just like that you have made this really cool pixel wiggle effect all right thank you guys for watching this one's pretty short so i think it's going to be easier for you guys to follow uh make sure to like subscribe follow my twitter and instagram which are both in the description which is also where you can find all the presets for and i'll catch you guys next time